Hello and welcome back to the second part of this sketching tutorial. If you have not watched the first video, you can check it out. The link is in the video description below. So this video is going to be a limited color palette and the colors that I'll be using today will consist mostly of cobalt colors. There are nine colors. I will swatch them out and decide which to use. I will also be using the Postcard markers which have opaque inks and also my usual Sakura Jelly white gel pen. Cobalt colors are usually very light fast but Cobalt Yellow is an exception. So this yellow, if you expose it to light long enough, it's going to fit into some sort of brown according to handprint.com. There is no such thing as cobalt red, so here I'm using Daniel Smith's Mayan Red PR287, which is also not uh, considered extremely light fast. I like this color because this red somehow it has that granulating look. This is another option for my red Garnet Genuine which actually looks more brown, it's like a reddish brown than red. Shinhan's Cobalt Blue PP28 This is a very nice intense blue I have Daniel Smith's version just beside to compare and this is Cobalt Blue Deep now cobalt blues, they have very beautiful granulation. Cobalt teal blue, PG50. Cobalt turquoise, PG36. This can be a good green for painting really dark uh, greens. And lastly, cobalt green, PG50. The swatches have dried very nicely, so let's see what colors we should pick. We will need a yellow, so that's the only option here. Aerolin Cobalt Yellow, PY40. For the red, I will go with Mayan Red because this is more vibrant compared to this. For the blues, I like Cobalt Blue because of its granulation, but these three, um, their granulation is not as obvious compared to Kramer Pigments Cobalt Blue Deep. So I'm going to use Kramer Pigments Cobalt Blue Dark, which is PB74 versus the Shinhan and Daniel Smith Cobalt Blue and also the Old Holland Cobalt Blue Deep. The granulation here, it's really beautiful. On the last row, we have Cobalt Teal Blue. This is a beautiful color, but it's quite challenging to mix with other colors. This is Cobalt Turquoise. I'm going to use this because this is great for painting greens, trees that are in shadow. And Cobalt Green is great for painting trees that are under the sun. Let's paint the sky first. So this is Kramer Pigments Cobalt Blue Deep. Such a beautiful color. Next, let's have the green. So I'm going to paint with cobalt green first and maybe mix with a little bit of cobalt turquoise. Cobalt turquoise will go to the bottom while cobalt green will go to the top. Cobalt green here. For the yellows, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Mayan red. So this is cobalt yellow or aerolin. And maybe the biker here, she is wearing red. Let's paint this building at the back. Now for the greys, I'm going to mix Mayan Red with Cobalt Green. We'll see what kind of neutralized greys we can get. So Cobalt Green, 
uh, or if you mix it with cobalt colors this is actually quite a nice color for the tree trunk when you mix with cobalt colors you're going to see color separation because cobalt pigments they are quite heavy they are going to separate away from the mixture so this is Mayan red with cobalt green this is with a little bit of cobalt blue deep added to make the wash a bit more neutralized so this is a very nice gray wash for the roof let's have Mayan red and cobalt green you know what I shall just paint just paint over this whole thing the windows here they are in shadow so this is a mix with cobalt blue deep all right for the green here i'll be using mayan red turquoise and cobalt blue before i add cobalt blue i want to paint over and see if i if i actually need cobalt blue i just want to make this darker And now let's create a darker mix of shadow to paint over all the shadow areas. This part here, all the shops here behind, they will be in shadow. Let's paint all the darker areas with more cobalt blue. These are so difficult to paint. This sketch is almost complete. And lastly, let's paint the horizontal lines with cobalt blue deep. Now we can draw the street signs with the Posca marker. So there is one sign here and one here we have the red lights for the bikes here as well red sign oops I, it should be red white and red but i drew this red but anyway it doesn't matter because this is opaque i can use white over the red later on some red posters Let's draw the stands. One, two, three. And this one. This sketch is almost complete. I just need to make certain areas darker. Cobalt blue is a very nice blue, but sometimes it's a bit too dark, which is great because you can use it to paint dark values. But sometimes you want to have the lighter blue, like a cobalt blue or a phthalo, something that's more vibrant. Let's take a closer look. Now you can only get this type of granulation with Kramer Pigments Cobalt Blue Deep. I've tried other PB74 from other brands. They don't come as close to giving you this sort of texture, this sort of granulation. So this is Cobalt Turquoise. It's lovely. I like the granulation. In fact, the reason why I chose this particular palette is because of the granulation. This is Cobalt Green. Mostly Cobalt Green. Cobalt Blue Deep can be used alone as shadow for painting shadows so these are the little details painted with the Posca markers we have orange with cobalt yellow and Mayan red now since aerolin or cobalt yellow is not light fast a better alternative would actually be nickel azo yellow in this case I left the greens here as well so I use cobalt blue dark to get the darker shades I 
I feel like I need to make this part a bit darker because the light source is coming from this direction. So this part of the building is actually in shade. So let me just paint over this area here to make this darker. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. But before you go, I just want to let you know that I am selling off some excess watercolor paint to make space to get more colors to test and also to make more videos like this. So if you're interested to get some watercolor paint, you can check out the list of colors I am selling from the video description below. Bye.